welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing one of my most requested videos from you guys. I don't know why so much recently, but I've just been seeing so many comments recently that you guys want me to do a must-have or a starter kit video on makeup brushes because there are so many makeup brushes out there for like literally every part of your face. I feel like people have their own preferences of what they prefer brushes to do for them and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I would do a video on basically my must-have makeup brushes that I wouldn't be able to do at my face without. There are some little extra ones thrown in there that I probably could do my makeup without but like I just really love them but as someone that is fortunate enough to own literally like hundreds and hundreds of makeup brushes I feel like I've tried to narrow it down to a less so overwhelming amount and yeah so you guys can see what kind of brushes I use what I think you should have just to kind of create like a glam face like this like all of these brushes I would have used to create a look like this so excuse the fact that they might be a little bit dirty as well but without me rambling on if you kind of like these must-have type videos make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already because I'd love to see you in the next video but without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm kind of going to go through them in the order that I would use them. So I'm, I'm wondering if you guys could probably guess some of the brushes that I'm going to use. But the first brush I am going to mention is the Real Techniques Multitask Face Brush. Now, you can use this brush for literally anything. Like I said, it's a multitask face brush. I think Lauren Curtis back in the day used to use this for her foundation. That's kind of how I got introduced to it. But I find this works really nicely for applying like my moisturizers and my primers, which is what I use them for. Obviously, I feel like your number one tool that you can use is your fingers to use a primer and a moisturizer 100% go ahead and use your fingers but for me I like anything with like a duo fiber kind of top and it's really like fluffy as well I just love it for blending in like I said my primers and stuff just so it's all kind of pressured and like absorbed into my skin I feel like this helps to create an even layer I would definitely use this for foundation as well anything with sort of creams I love this but yeah the real techniques multitask brush I love 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 it for applying my primers as you guys know I use it literally in every video so the next kind of tool or brush I'm gonna talk about is a beauty blender I feel like everyone should have a beauty blender you could use this for your primers you could use this for foundation you can use this for blending out concealer you can use this to apply powder you can use this to you could use this to literally apply anything I recently went to a beauty blender launch dinner because they've come out with a new one that's kind of like pink and white and a swirly one, which is really really cool but yeah literally you can do your whole makeup look with a beauty blender because if you wear cream eyeshadows you could dip it in and apply it to a lid you know it's got a small tapered end I just feel like these are incredible they do recommend that you use it damp so then you'll you can blend it into your skin a lot better I feel like these are everyone's best friend I always use it to kind of touch up with as well I feel like this is a hundred percent a must-have and there's been so many dupes of them which I do feel are good but you can't be an original beauty blender okay the next brush I'm gonna talk about is a duo fiber brush these are so good again for all sorts of cream products I use these to kind of apply foundation I mainly kind of use them to blend out a cream contour again you could use this to apply a primer buff out concealer I just feel like with the duo fiber brushes they're incredible with creams and this is a really nice size one to kind of get like precise application maybe not necessarily 100% a must-have but I do find like I always am using one of these this one in particular is a MAC 130 brush but there are so many companies that do cheaper, more affordable versions. But yeah, I just like the short bristles. I feel like they're really good for blending out a cream contour because sometimes I find with a beauty blender it can just kind of take away the color this I find gives a really effortless blend so I love a little kind of duo fiber brush like this okay I feel like this is kind of like a OG brush back in the day when I watched Jaclyn Hill's makeup tutorials all the time she was obsessed with a Sigma F80 Kabuki brush I literally every time I read out this brush I read it in her voice if you like a full coverage flawless foundation look you stippling this onto your skin really creates that finish I feel like again it's with the flat top it kind of is a bit bigger than the other one that I just used and a lot more dense therefore it like presses a lot more product into your skin creates such a flawless finish if I want like extra coverage in an area I'll 100% go in with a flat top brush like this like I said this one is just the Sigma F 81. I've left the links to all these brushes and the names of them down below for you guys to check out. But if it's Jaclyn Hill approved in her full coverage of foundation routine, you know that you need it. And I love it as well. So hopefully that's enough. Okay, the next two brushes are for powder. And I feel like I get so many questions about this specific brush whenever I use it in my videos. This one is from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. It is their F15 brush. It's basically just a really small tapered fluffy brush. I love using this to like press powder lightly underneath my eyes and like buff powder all around my face but then the other powder brush that I really love to use is something a bit bigger again with a tapered finish this is the Sigma tapered face f25 brush 
brush. You can see they're both of like a similar size, just one is bigger than the other. So if you're maybe not necessarily into precise powder placement, a bigger one would cover more surface area quicker for you. So this one it might be better. I do like this for applying more of like an iridescent powder underneath the eyes or like wiping stuff away. And then this one I like carry around with me everywhere and it's really good for product placement. They're both super fluffy and I feel like neither of them really shred so much on my face. So these are like my two go-to powder brushes. And yeah, you guys always ask me about this one. Maybe it's because the bristles are red, but it is from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. So for bronzer, I like to be quite precise with my bronzer. I don't want to have like a whole like orange face on one side. And my go-to bronzer brush is from Zoeva. It is the Lux Cheek Finish. It is the 126 brush. I love this. I feel like it is the perfect size to just kind of get into your cheekbones, but still big enough to be able to buff and blend. I love this. I can just dust it all around. I love a bronzer brush with like the shape like this. Again, I feel like it just fits perfectly on your face. And this one's a nice size too. I can always like pop this in my bag and just take it everywhere with me. I feel like a lot of these brushes that I'm going to be saying are from similar sort of brands. There's a lot of Sigma, Zoeva, MAC, all sorts. And I know sp especially for Sigma and Zoeva, they come in amazing brush sets. So I definitely recommend maybe checking out the brush sets that these are involved in to get like the most out of your money. So I think I got this one in a brush set. I got it for Christmas and literally I've been obsessed and I use it every day ever since. The next brush I'm going to be talking about is for blusher. Now this one is from Blank Canvas Cosmetics and it's their F04 brush. This one for me is just super fluffy. I don't know if you can see it. It like really just, as someone personally that's not a massive blusher wearer or doesn't like too much blusher, something like this is really nice because it's so fluffy. You can get other ones. What's this one? This is a MAC one and it like, it's, I don't know, it's just a bit harder which again would pick up more product but then place more product on your face a lot more like prominently if that makes sense whereas this one I find is just so 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 fluffy but again just because I'm naming this specific brand and brush there will be so many other brands that do a similar sort of brush maybe for less or maybe for more whatever but it's more like the shape and like the quality that I'm loving and I get that quality from this one and it, like I said this one is Blank Canvas Cosmetics I've left the link to it down below but it's that classic angled blusher contour brush. A lot of people, I literally just watch Hannah's current must-haves video and she loves these kind of brushes for foundation and when I used to work at MAC there was a woman that used this brush or like well, obviously the MAC version of this brush again for foundation so there's no rules with bl with brushes and what you can use them for but I personally like this one for blusher. Can I talk about this brush anymore? Probably. But moving on, you guys know I love a shimmery bronzer and I just love to dust it all around my face and you probably always see me using this brush. This is the MAC 135 brush. It's literally just a massive fluffy brush. Now you could totally use this for your bronzer. You could use this for your foundation if you want to paint, like not like paint on, but like apply a lot. I just like to dust like powder products into this. So again, my shimmery bronzers or a loose shimmery bronzer, just really lightly dust it everywhere just because it covers a lot of surface area quite quickly. I know Morphe do a similar shape to this brush, which would probably be a fraction of the price. But again, MAC brushes are really incredible quality, which is why I love this one. Not to say that Morphe aren't, I just personally haven't tried that one. So I don't want to 100% recommend getting that one instead of this one because I've not tried it. I just know I've seen it, but I just love a big brush like this. You could totally use this for face powder as well. I just think a big fluffy brush should be in like everyone's collection. You can just use whatever you want for it, whether it's like all over your body or whatever. I just... I really like this one. So this is the MAC 135 that I personally used for just like creating a glow on my face. And the final two brushes I'm gonna talk about for like a face section is for highlighting. Now, mine are both really small. I don't personally reach for a fan brush or anything like that when it comes to highlighting because I like to be quite precise and I feel like these just blend and have such incredible application. So this one is a Morphe M511. I'm probably the only person that doesn't have a Morphe code to be like, if you wanna get this brush, you can use code for money off but I don't have a code with them so use whoever you want I know you can just get these on Beauty Bay anyway which is what I've left the link to down below but yeah this one is the M511 it's basically I think it's actually meant for your eye it's like a really really big fluffy brush but I love this for like a base highlight where I want that kind of colour to show through more so I use this for more powder highlighting as in like pressed powder highlighting I just feel like you can get such a precise application with it it blends so 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 nicely onto the skin 
I love this. I would also actually use this for concealer to buff out. Like if I had another one, I would use that for that. But yeah, I love this brush for highlighting. And I'm sure you guys know I always rave about this brush for highlighting as well. It is a MAC 224. This is actually, again, incredible as a fluffy crease brush, as in like in your eye. But I love this for highlighting. But I specifically love this for like loose powder highlighters I like to pick them up with the brush because it is super precise give it a little bit of spritz and just buff it in the bristles of these are quite actually they're quite firm compared to the other ones so they really really blend into the skin which is what I love about this for highlighting so my highlighter just kind of looks effortlessly placed onto the skin so I'm sure you guys knew this was coming but yeah I love a MAC 224 for highlighting now moving on to eye brushes I am excessive with eye brushes I really had to like narrow this down and thought look if you just want to create a glam look like what I've got on or just kind of have enough brushes to be able to do everything I'm going to really cut it down here's the basics so here we go I feel like to create any eye look you need a big black not necessarily black where am I going with that a big initial fluffy brush for your transition color this is a Sigma E40 I must rave about these I feel like everyone raves about these Sigma do incredible eye brushes and this one is such a go-to it literally is what I use back and forth to with my initial transition color I always use it as almost like a blending eraser like I always once I've placed another color down go back in with this brush place another color down go back in with this brush you know what I mean so I'm literally in love with it Sigma E40 check it the next brush I'm going to talk about is a slightly smaller fluffy brush this is a Zoeva 227 I'll just show you the shape of this it's almost similar to a MAC 217 it's that kind of shape I feel like so many brands do a brush like this and I feel like everyone needs one it's just a slightly smaller more precise fluffy brush to get kind of further and deeper into your crease you could probably use this as your initial transition color but I'm just super super fussy I love to kind of mix between them both I feel like it's such a great shape for all eyes and when you're using loads of colors it is good to kind of mix it up with brushes I feel like the the tools that you use kind of affect how your eyes look if you're being very like restricted with the amount of tools that you use and you're thinking why isn't it looking as great it might just be you just need another fluffy brush you know just like applying when it comes to applying shadows but yeah those kind of two are necessity shapes <laughs> to be able to create the looks that I do so these are two that I recommend and like I said this is from Zoeva and it's the 227 because I am OCD and I like need loads of brushes but I'm just kind of throwing shapes inside out there for you so you guys can see for yourself I do like to use another fluffy brush this time these two are slightly smaller both are from Zoeva and I feel like you could probably get all of these in a set somewhere but this is the 231 and this is the 224 so the 231 is called a luxe petite crease and the 224 is called a luxe defined crease I'm gonna hold them up so you can see it so the one on the left which is this one has slightly less precision but it's just kind of more fluffy again I love this it's just like an eraser like an eye eraser buffer I feel like you can be quite precise with it and then it has that fluffy ability to be able to blend it out and then this one has more of like a it's almost like a giant pencil brush like all the bristles are really firm in place so you can get incredible like definition and like precise application with it but again it's still a fluffy crease brush so you can buff it out so I really love these when I'm going like a full-blown smoky eye and want it to be a blended to the guards which is you know a lot of the time I love kind of going that extra mile with a little brush like this to make sure I'm getting precise application and everything is blended seamlessly now the next brush I love is a MAC 242 you could use this for anything you can use this to apply your cream eyeshadow base I like to use these to apply glitters again cream eyeshadows or any kind of like lid shade that you need to pack on this is my favorite brush for packing things on everyone at work was like it's the gingy brush and honestly it's like a go-to I love this again for cream powder anything on the eye packing it on I love this brush I can't rave about it enough and I've never found a kind of cheaper alternative so I really love this again the MAC 242 232 242 I think it's a MAC 242 so if you're struggling with like cream shadows and all that kind of stuff can't find a brush to do it the bristles on this make it so easy to blend so easy to apply so I, this is like a must have for more kind of precise shadow application I always like to reach for this brush if I'm doing like a halo eye I just need like a small shader to pack on a color this is a MAC 228 it's literally just a weeny weeny tiny shader brush you could also use this to apply any inner corner color or like buffing out any kind of shadow on your lower lash line it's basically just a really really diddy brush to be able to do whatever you want with it could apply some like brow bone highlight with it as well I just feel like everyone needs like a really small shader brush like a big and a small to be able to create like the flawless eye look 
maybe you could just pick between one but I really love this I use it for like loose shadows as well these apply foiled shadows really nicely yeah I just love this one for applying any sort of lid color and the final brush I'm gonna talk about is a pencil brush these are so good for applying minimal things so again in a corner highlighter I always use a, br a pencil brush like this to apply my lower lash line shadow if I've like put anything on my like top lash line and I want to buff it out again this is such an amazing precise brush to be able to do that with I kind of use about two or three of them in one go one for like inner corner highlighter one for shadow underneath and that kind of stuff so maybe get a couple of these if you're thinking of getting a pencil brush but I feel like everyone needs a pencil brush it can do obviously whatever you want maybe to do like nose highlighting and all that kind of stuff it's just yeah a very good small precise brush to be able to do kind of little details with but that is it I feel like that is kind of my like really condensed recommendations of brushes shapes and like the sizes and all that kind of stuff that I use to create my everyday makeup I've left the links to them all down below if you can find a cheaper alternatives or like ones that are like dupes let me know in the comments down below I would love to see them let me know what brushes you think I might have left out or what your favorite brushes are or brands that I should check out I really hope you guys found this video helpful I know loads of you wanted to see it so yeah share it with a friend that needs help in the makeup brush industry or is just stuck these are some of my recommendations and I know a lot of people use some of the same brushes as me so like I said I really hope you guys enjoyed this and find this helpful if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and like I said earlier please subscribe if you haven't already but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!